Let me fix you guys. Hey, I haven't done one of these in forever. Just me standing. Um, I picked the wolves. The well, not the wolves. I don't know. My cats are doing this. Rolling around the room. I have the wolf set up. I literally just have a box with my wing light inside of it because the tripod broke and then the laptop on top of the box like it's own tripod. Yeah. Okay, I got them out. Now, as you guys know for the title of this video, I'm not going to do that much of an intro. I'm just going to go right through this video because if you click this video, you obviously want a haul video. So, let's go. Morning. I got a lot of the office merch. Now I'm going to, I also got the culture fly off this box, but I'm going to save that for last. Post on this agenda are clothes. I only got three shirts, but they're pretty interesting. The first shirt I got, my mom got me this. She got one too, because it's just really cool. But it's an ASL shirt, and it says, um... I had a brain fart. It says, do you know what I'm spelling with my hands? Or like, do you know what I'm saying with my hands? That's what it says. I love this shirt. I haven't worn any of these shirts yet because I was saving them for the haul. But, yeah. Second shirt I got was this cute Garfield shirt that says mood. And then he's just eating a burger. He gets his mood. Um, I am obsessed with Garfield, which is why my mom got me this. I suck at hauls. I'm just doing what I've seen people on YouTube do with these. Just the next thing I got was fun story about this is I originally was going to get one that was the office related, but they didn't have the office one in my size, so instead I got one that was friends related, and it says Central Park, Greenwich Village on it. Yeah. They had a Dunder Mifflin one, but it wasn't my size, so I had to settle for second best. They also had other office shirts, because I got this at Old Navy, but they also have other office shirts that... But I already had shirts like them, so I wasn't going to pay the money for a shirt that looked like the shirt I had at home. Oh, um, the hoodie is from Old Navy. The ASL shirt is from Amazon. And the Garfield shirt, I believe, is from Target. So it's just a small item, and it's just playing cards for the most iconic Christmas movie in existence, A Christmas Story. Is it focused? <laughs> okay. No. Oh. But yeah, A Christmas Story. So yeah, iconic movie, love this movie, had to get it. Found this at TJ Maxx. Instantly had to buy it. And for those wondering, yes, I sometimes occasionally will show Christmas shopping with my mom. So, well, Hanukkah shopping, but <laughs> we'll get stuff and then we'll wrap it so occasionally we'll know what we get. We just won't open it. That's how we do in this house. Next two little things are so just two little things that my mom put in like this little mystery box to have the calendar thing we had to make. And they're just Harry Potter or jelly beans. I haven't tried them yet, but I just know after I'm done filming the candy I got, which is just these, I'm probably going to eat them as soon as I'm done filming. <laughs> this one, I already started eating. Clearly. I can't even pretend like I didn't take this. <laughs> the next thing that's not the office related is this One Direct perfume that I found at TJ Maxx, and I just had to get it. Now. Obviously, I had the perfume from when it first came out, almost empty, so I got this so I could have the perfume again and have the box for me to display the perfume on. Now, let's get started with the office stuff, which is just the rest of the video. <laughs> I bought this for myself, I just added it to the haul because I got it around the same time as Hanukkah, but I got the office a day at Dunder Mifflin Elementary, just because I really wanted it. I got it off Amazon. And I, it 
it's actually really cute. It's just a little office, the office, but it's a storybook version. And it's super cute. <laughs> Plus, I love the cover. And I love the inside covers so much. And then I also like that it has this at the start of it. Maybe I'll make a video going through this book. Like a reading video going through this book. I don't know. But it's super cute. I literally only bought this to put on my office wall. As you can see back there, I have an office wall. <laughs> the next thing I got at TJ Maxx and I just had to get it. They had a bunch of office mugs. My mom made me pick one for the gift. So I just could not turn this down. Who's best boss? Has the office on the back. But I just have this on display, so technically you just go to see this spot. And this is the first time I've seen it in white. It's an office much. But I'm at Spencer's, they had this in the office section, but they had the mug as like a blue color. And it's like the one chance. The one chance. Spencer's could have sold this as a white mug and they had to make it a blue mug. Like, <laughs> if you watch the show, you get that. But... <laughs> The next up are the new pops. These are just going to Target and just I just bought all of them as an impulse. Well, my mom got me the Jan one. But as an impulse, I just gave, I literally just, I think I made a TikTok about it. I literally made the, bought these and just gave them to my mom. I was like, just give them to me as gifts. Just give them to me as Hanukkah gifts. I just want them. <laughs> the last time they did a release, I did the same thing. Instead of finding them at Target, I found them at Barnes & Nobles. <laughs> I just love these. The the Scranton Strangler, Dwight Schrute as Scranton Strangler, Jan Levison, Jim Halpert from season nine, the finale, and then Mike. What the fact that I know that that where that's exactly from, and then Michael Scott in the straight jacket for his little trick. <laughs> I mean, the fact that if you look at my pops, if you look at my pops, you can see I'm running out of room for pops, and I'm gonna need to find a new pop, and I got like a whole bunch more pops. Just crap. And then I also got the new keychains. I got Daryl, I got Kevin, I got Dwight, and I got Poison Mike. Just because I was scared. I pre-ordered these so fast because I was terrified I was going to miss out on them. And they didn't even sell out. <laughs> they didn't even sell out right away. They took a while. Well, they sold out, but they didn't oh, like sell out and you could only get them for like, an insane price. Especially the Poison Mike one. I was so scared. But at least I have all the Funko keychains for the office, so I have all eight of them. So as you can see, I like the office. Is that obvious? I should have filmed this shirt in my office shirt. That would have made so much sense instead of this. But I want to wear Alicia because she does vlogs. She's like the queen of vlogs. And <laughs> even though this isn't a Christmas type video, this is more Hanukkah, but still fit. This next item I found at Walmart and once again just had to get it because of what it was. And it's a Christmas ornament for World's Best Boss. And my mom asked if I'm going to put this on the tree, but I feel like I'm going to put it on my display case. But it's just a regular little mug. It's similar to the one my mom has, except my mom has a Central Park mug for friends. And this one is just Dunder Mifflin. And it says Dunder Mifflin on the back. I'm just figuring this out. <laughs> I'm like flipping it. I'm like, wait a sec. Now for the unboxing of this <sighs> something I probably put in the title of this video along with haul the culture fly office winter box unboxing well it's not only an unboxing I already unboxed it I just we closed it back up so I could have it for the video I was gonna make a thumbnail with this before I emptied it but then I just realized I'll just make <gasps> Is <laughs> I just make a um a thumbnail after when the box is empty. And as you can see, I collect these boxes too. Like I have the fall one right there, but I didn't get the summer or the spring box. I just got the fall and then I got this one and I don't know when I get the next one. But I feel like when I get the next one, if I get the next one, I will probably do an unboxing video if you guys are like that. Look, wait, I'm filming a video. I'm filming a video. Some people might find it weird that I buy baby toys for my dog, but like, they're super cute and they work the same, so. 
put it back for the squeaky toy. I'm filming, Bubbly. Bubbly, I'm filming. Voila. Sorry about that. Now, it's just messed up. I think I had the bathrobe shoved on top. The first thing that fell out is I got this holiday gift wrap. Probably like with that one, I have a couple items in the box. I'll probably put this back in the box. My mom's like, are you going to use this? I'm like, oh no. I do not want to use this. I think like, I might still have a poster that was like given out in magazines for One Direction wrapping paper. I don't think I ever used that either. I'm going to put this down so I can take stuff out. Now this next item, I got a sneak peek back at the beginning of November and I was very excited for it. But as you can tell by this, you can probably guess what it is. <laughs> it is a Dunder Mifflin. I'm trying to find the logo. <laughs> Where's the logo? <laughs> it is a Dunder Mifflin bathrobe with the logo, like right on the side. And I love this because like, if you watch the show, they gave away a bathrobe for one of their Christmas gifts from corporate. And now I can watch that show in this bathrobe and feel like I also worked at Dunder Mifflin and got a bathrobe. Thank you very much, Culture Fly, for this. And it came with a string. Oh my god, my dog is playing with dog toys at the worst time possible. <laughs> I just love this so much. Yeah, I say that a lot. <laughs> I love everything so much. Now this next item. This next item I actually got a sneak peek on the email. Appreciate the sneak peeks, but it kind of ruined the surprise off the factor a little bit because I knew it was coming. I also got one for the friends one that was a sad one because they emailed me a sneak peek to what's in the friends winter box. I guess to promote to buy the friends winter box, but I couldn't buy it and I didn't buy it. So it was like this like herbal tea infusal and I don't drink tea, but it was a cute bottle or just... I wish I had money to buy the Friends box, I still would have. But also my mom likes Friends, so if I was to buy the Culture Fly Friends box, it would be for her. Culture Fly! Culture Fly, get me the Friends box so I can surprise my mom. I'm kidding. They're not gonna watch this. They would look at my channel and go, No. <laughs> it was this. It was the teapot. And it says on the teapot, I think I made the right choice. And I saved $23 because I was going to buy a tea, just a regular green teapot for my office collection on Amazon. I was going to buy one of these and just fill it up with the stuff. But I saved money because I don't need the teapot anymore. I just need the stuff that Jim had put inside of it so I can make it the official teapot. But like if I, I know it says that on it which makes it just cute. But honestly if I just want to use it I'll just hold it like this. But yeah. Iconic. I wonder if anyone actually uses this for an actual teapot. I wouldn't. I would just <laughs> have it on display on my display case. The next stop was the next thing was this mystery thing. It was like a blind bag. There was like three different choices. And it was this squishy. And then you could either get, I think it was True Farms, Pretzel from Pretzel Day, or World's Best Moss Mug. And I would have loved either one. I would have. I would have preferred the Shroot Farms one because Dwight Shroot's my favorite character, but I love this too. I would put it with my squishies and my sensory toys or on my display case. <laughs> Plus, I could just do this. Now it's in my mug for now. Mainly because Mercury saw the squishy and he wanted to eat it. I have to keep that away from him. This next thing I got is super cute. It's a little stocking. And it says impish or admirable. You guys can see that. And oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And it's <laughs> gonna look so weird, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this on that display case. Or I'll probably put it in the box and just store it. Like I did with the other one. And for example, like with the fall one that's in there is the birthday thing, the birthday banner, and the plates and the cake cutter kind of thing. <laughs> But usually I just put it in the box until I get bigger space to display my office stuff. Next up I got is these hanging holiday decorations that I'm going to open and put on my display case. <laughs> but, okay. So, 
On this, we have a World's Best Boss Bug. We have Dwight Schrute's bobblehead that Angela got him. And we have a Dundee Award and just ASMR plastic. <laughs> That's the worst ASMR. But yeah. <laughs> the next thing we got is this Dwight with a teapot, enamel pin, which I love so much. Once again, the last. I think we get Dundee's every single box because the last time we got a pin Dundee. Not Dundee's, we get a pin. Like last time we got a pin Dundee. We got a pin that was the Dundee Awards on the Dundee thing, so I want my name on it. But yeah. If you guys want, I will make a video showing my office collection because I could actually make that. That's a lot to discuss in that. So just comment down below if you want to see my office collection because I have a lot of them. <laughs> The Office and Funko Pops are two things I am obsessed with. Same with The Walking Dead. I also have a shrine for that show. And this one is pretty cute. Okay, the holiday greeting cards. Don't know if I ever use them or when I use them. Or I'll, maybe I'll take one and put on my wall. But they love Dwight Schrute. And as I said before, Dwight is my favorite character on The Office. So I love these. Which is why I have no idea if I'm going to use them or not. Yeah. So that's it for this video. I'm going to end this video right here. I'm going to go edit and get this up hopefully tomorrow. Fingers crossed. It is also like 1.30 in the morning and I accidentally slept all day. So I went to bed at 8 a.m. set my alarm for 1 p.m. and slept all the way to night time. So that's fun. And yes, last time you saw me not counting vlogs. I did not have my hair dyed, and now I do, and I need to get my hair redid, but right now it just has this cool little ombre effect, but I have my natural hair, or kind of my natural hair up here, and then I have my blue, my pink hair down here, I almost said blue, my pink hair down here, I need to do my hair again, as you can see, look at those roots, my hair has grown, it doesn't feel like they've grown, but yeah. So, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go give this video a big thumbs up and go hit that red subscribe button down below before I make new videos. Or I'm trying to make new videos every other day if I can. I'm hopefully going to have a schedule by next year. Or I will at least make videos as much as I possibly can. I also just realized that I had the blinds, my broken blinds in the background this entire time. At least, at least it's just his foot. At least it's just his foot. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to end this video here. And yeah. I love you all so much. And have a very good rest of the day. Also, disclaimer. Um, I do have two videos. I'll show you guys. These I will try and make and film for my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day videos. Um, and I'm showing you guys just because I got these yet last year and I just never did it because I never completed Vlogmas. So, I'm going to try to do this for one for Christmas Eve, one for Christmas Day. I'm not going to say which. And just do an auto class video. And if I don't make the videos, I might live stream me doing the videos. So, or I'll just live stream in general and just live stream instead of making the video. But we will see. So, keep in mind that there might be a Christmas video coming. And it's either going to be a Christmas video or a Christmas live. Yeah, I literally got them on clearance in my clothes last year. I just never used them and they were sitting in my closet for the entire year. <laughs> I almost threw them out. And I'm like, you know what? No, let's keep them. Maybe I can use them for YouTube this year. <laughs> Anyways, 